Welcome everybody to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are going to get started straight away. Okay, so first, um, before I go any further, I just want to let you know I will never reach out to you, ask you if you would like a reading, tell you you need any sort of work or a reading. If you would like that, you have to reach out to me. I do not reach out to people. Um, also, uh, this show airs on WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, and a number of other um, channels, live streaming channels, podcasts, and radio stations. I want to say hi to Stevie, my youngest brother. I hope you're having a good day, Stevie. Okay, we are going to get started. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, or um, I do not know why why there's such a stall in what I'm saying. Normally, like uh, normally, I kind of know what I'm saying when the show starts. Today, no clue what I'm saying when the show starts. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay. <laughs> If you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is the number is 845-277-9131. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a show, folks. It is going to be a show. Okay. Um, if you'd like to join us live, we are on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. And um, let's see, what else should I try to say that I am clearly not able to say today? I don't know. If you have a question, you can post it in the chat or you can call in. I'm going to go directly to the Oh, Colin, and I am going to uh, 203. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, Tony, it's Pat. Hey, Pat. Call me by surprise. I didn't expect to be the first one. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are uh, you today? Oh, gosh, I'm so stressed out. I'll be calling you soon for another reading, but um, I think you might remember that my mechanic blew my engine. I'll try to say this quickly. The court judged half because he lied so much. So I was awarded $2,000 and he's not paying. And I now have to spend $100 to hire a sheriff. I'm not even sure if that's going to work. Now I've just spent 1500 on car repairs and a good friend is saying it's time for a new car. I'm so just hardly attached to this world. I don't know how I'm going to do this because the, um, the motor cost me $4,000, the engine, and I've got a loan for that and for dental, and I'm heading into another $2,000 loan. So I've got 1500 on a credit card for the repairs and do you see, can I last with this car for a bit? And do you see me finding a car? And I actually just had a thought. I have a good friend that's 90. Would I insult her if I asked if I could buy her car? She's not going to be around much longer. Thank you for listening to this whole long question. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Absolutely. Um, couple things about the lawsuit. I would, and you might be able to do this on your own with some help, um, go to like a legal aid society, or you might be able to do it on your own with the help of the computer. Put a lien. <clears throat> no, Excuse that me. doesn't work. I looked into all that. Sorry to interrupt, but the only thing to do is a particular, I've looked into all those and spoken to a sheriff. Thank you, though, but none of okay. those will so work. So if, um, if you and legal aid, the legal aid will not deal with, um, I've checked into that, too. Okay. So um, sometimes when I give an answer, it's for you particularly, and sometimes it can also help other people out there who might be in a similar situation. If you can put a lien against anything this person owns, Definitely do that. 
if landlords can put liens against, you know, things or um, businesses can put liens against things, we might be able to do that also. If you can't do that, I understand completely. Uh, the next thing that I would say is, yes, you are going to need a vehicle soon. Um, no, you cannot wait. I'm trying to remember the questions in the order that you asked them. No, I don't feel like you have some time to wait. Uh, I feel like if you work something out with your 90-year-old friend where you could possibly also be kind of at her becking or his becking call, their becking call to help them uh, take them places or run errands for them. It might be beneficial. Um, so maybe you're not outright purchasing the car, but you're uh, having the car and paying a certain amount, but then also running their errands and taking them where they need to go. That might be one resolve. I do feel like, yes, you are going to find a vehicle, whether it's your 90-year-old friend's vehicle or not. I do feel like you are going to find a vehicle. I do feel like you are going to have to look and you may have to look outside of your area to find something that is a little bit more reasonable. Before you purchase, take it to a mechanic and make sure it's reliable or have somebody who knows a little something about cars go with you to purchase this vehicle. I do feel like you might want to also, if you can, I don't know what the weather is like in Connecticut. Here it's been a very mild winter, but it's still cold as it's cold to me. It's very cold here. But you might want to look into an alternative mode of transportation, which might be something along the lines of a moped or a um, bike. I know. This is why I mute people so they don't yell at me when I make suggestions like that. <laughs> you might want to look into um, some alternative mode of transportation until you get everything together and um, get into that space where you can uh, get, get exactly what you need and or want. As far as the financial situation goes, and I understand, um, Pat, you are not the only one who is um, struggling financially right now. And I'm so sorry that you are fuggling, fuggling, struggling financially. Let me just take financially struggling and make it into one word, fuggling, um, financially struggling right now. And, I, and for everybody else who is, um, it is getting crazy out there with the cost of everything and the way the system works. I do feel like you are going to need to make some changes, um, possibly. And I know everybody, listen, don't yell at me. Okay. And, and I get it. You, we may need to do a couple of things here. And I've been saying this on my show since for quite some time now. If you can bring in money, bring in money. If you can bring in cash, bring in cash. If you have to work at a restaurant as a waitress for cash, do it. I know we're working 40 to 60 hours a week. And I know that we are feeling like we don't have any extra time for anything. I am going to tell you, however, however, whatever you can offer that will help you bring in money, especially if you can do it for cash, do it. If you can make meals for elderly and deliver them, do it. Whatever you can do to bring in cash, now is the time to do it. And I don't want to be Debbie, Debbie Downer, and I don't like to say these things on the show, but over the next six months, it is not going to get financially easier. 
It is not going, the dynamics are not going to change, unfortunately. The only thing we can do, especially over the next six to nine months, is A, start growing our own food, get stress therapy chickens, goats, and or pigs with your neighbors, and bring in as much cash as possible. And if you need to get a second job where you're actually bringing in a check, bring in that check. There are, for the next six to nine months, which brings us almost to the end of the year, we are going to need every need to do everything we can do to bring our resources together, especially if we are people who live paycheck to paycheck. If we are people who live in a dynamic that is part on credit card or we have a fixed income, we 1 million percent at this point, point in time need to start working with our neighbors, working with our friends, working with whoever to make extra money. If you have to offer to go in and clean people's ovens for $50, do it. As long as they're paying you cash, do what you can do, okay? Um, and bring that money in. Stop looking at the problem and start coming up with solutions and take that solution and make it. Now, if you physically cannot clean ovens for $50, charge 75 and have somebody else go in and clean the oven. You keep 25, you give them 50. That's not wrong. That's called business. <laughs> if you need to bring in money, figure out what you can do. What do you, if you can drive someone around and to the grocery store and, or run their errands, do it and get paid. This is the time to be resourceful. This is the time to go. These are the things I do on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis. Who else can I do this for and get paid for doing it? During the pandemic, um, during the shutdowns, there were a lot of people that didn't even want to go to the grocery store. So they were paying other people to do their grocery shopping. There are a lot of people that will pay you to do the things you're already doing. And yes, they will give you cash. Start figuring out solutions instead. And I know when we're in that space where we're out of money and we are excuse me, we are out of money and we are trying to figure out how we're going to pay these things. And we th see things coming to a, um, a head, like, a, 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 like we don't see a way out. We have to just take, we have to baby step it and we have to listen to what other people say. And even if we think it's impossible for us to do these things, we have to really dig in and do them. Now, let's just say you can't drive people around, get people's groceries, whatever it is. Um, I'm going to tell you there are so many other opportunities. Stores and such are now hiring just about anyone that will show up and be a body in their place. And I know you might think that's just not enough. That's not enough money, not to start, okay? Not to start, but eventually it will be. It will be. It will add up, okay? Um, I'm also getting, I'm going to talk a little bit about business opportunities for everybody, whether you are you are looking to get get into a new career or to... Um, Ay, ay, ay. Get into a new career, have something on the side, whatever it is. Um, if you can't find a job, and I say this all the time, if you cannot find a job, make a job and turn your job into a whole out company. Do it. Do it. Listen, people who are working don't want to come home and clean. You Maybe you don't know how to clean but you know how to market and you know how to hire people, um, hire people to clean and have them go into people's homes and clean, okay? 
Maybe you don't want to power wash people's houses, but you have the money to buy power washers and hire people to go power wash. If you're looking for a whole new career, cybersecurity and AI, artificial intelligence. I don't love artificial intelligence. I don't, but it's coming and we can't stop it. If you're looking for a solid career where you are not going to be replaced, AI and cybersecurity are two areas of that. Transportation, anything, anything with transportation, especially private transportation. If you are a person who is able to drive and you can drive people from point A to point B or be their daily chauffeur or drive them from city to city or drive them from state to state, that is going to be it in the future. If you don't personally want to drive and you can bring people on who can drive, that is going to be part of it in the future. People are not going to be want to driving, want to be driving on these streets. Have you been on these streets driving? Mm, mm, mm. A lot of people are reconsidering flying because of a lot of things that have been going on with pilots and planes and airports and what's in the sky. But they they might not want to fly and maybe they don't want to drive from where they are to where they need to be. But they definitely will hire somebody to drive them from point A to point B if you can do that. Transportation is going to be huge in the future. Doing things for people is going to be huge in the future. And listen, you might look at me and say that you, you make it sound so easy. I said this on my show on Monday. I'm saying it again. There was a young girl on a video that said she has 5,000 people paying her $15 a month to watch her tan. I'm just going to let that shit sink in. First of all, how did she come up with letting people watch her tan and then paying them or them paying her to watch her tan? And 5,000 people are paying to watch her tan. You can come up with something you can do that people will watch you do or will pay you to do for them, okay? If you cannot talk to someone who can help you come up with something to bring in extra money, sometimes when we're so focused on the problem, we just need somebody to come in and say, listen, these are all the solutions and this is where you need to go for it. OK, if you've called in and you would like to ask a question, please press one. Make sure that you are pressing one. Otherwise, I don't know you want to ask a question. Um, thank you so much. And I want to say hi to everybody who's joined me online. I, that's one of the things I forgot to do in the beginning of the show. Um, Heather, I'm so happy Colin's doing well. And I can't say this name. I can barely um, pronounce it. So Lyria, Lyria, Lyria. And that's Fernando, my FedEx guy. You guys, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to get up and get my packages because, well, I'm here with you. Um, but Fernando is like the nicest guy ever. I feel badly like keeping him waiting there. And Kim, uh, thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, Genevieve, <laughs> I don't know, you might not go away. <laughs> oh, Patrick, hey, Patrick, how are you? Um, and Jana, hey, oh my goodness, Jana, how are you? Emily, Thank you for joining me here. Lolly, oh, Lolly, how are you? Uh, Joy and um, let's see, Erin, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, 
with me today on the show. I'm going to answer a few questions in the comments. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to 475 and then I'm going to answer a question online. 475, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thanks so much for taking my question. I'm Ritu from Connecticut. Beautiful. How can I help you today? So um, I'll make it pretty short. Um, I'm just curious what you see for me in terms of my love life, especially coming up in this, you know, in this year. Okay. Um, the first thing I hear is the fall. So, and then I hear September. So I feel like, um, you're going to meet somebody in September that has the potential to go very far. Now, I do hear also August. So I don't know if you meet this person in August and it takes off in September, but I'm going to tell you there's the potential that either you meet them in August and it takes off in September or in August you meet one person, but in September you meet the like a different person who might end up being the the person and then I hear false alarm so I feel like maybe the person you meet in August might be a false alarm or you know just be really um I hear tread lightly into that first relationship mm -hmm. as far as that August thing goes um when you get to the fall now if you're already let me ask you let me say this if you're already in a relationship this is when your relationship is going to take those next steps and no when somebody's asking a question i don't go in and ask that i just repeat the information i get i don't know what color uh, underwear everybody's wearing because i'm not looking at it but somebody is wearing really nice blue boxers today i will tell you that i will tell you that because that just flashed. They're very pretty blue, I might say. <laughs> Too much information. Um, I am going to say I hear the fall. Um, and if you are currently with someone, uh, th this doesn't mean, you know, it, it, this could be the point where it takes off into the next steps. But I do feel like this is somebody new coming in in the fall. This is somebody brand new. You've not met this person before. You don't know them. You've never met them. It's not somebody coming back from the past. It's not someone that, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, uh, if only type of person. It's somebody, I hear it's somebody brand new coming in in the fall. That is, and I hear S September. Um, now, if this is the case where you meet this person, let's say near the end of August, but then your first actual date is in September. It could be that too, but I hear September very strongly. I'm going to tell you this person has the potential, you and this person have the potential to go very far in your relationship. You have the potential to really um, have a very significant relationship. Um but that doesn't mean skip steps. I always say the beginning steps are the memories we're making for the future. So don't skip those steps. Don't like go, oh, this is the person. So we can just like do this. No, 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 no. Don't skip the steps. Make make all the steps important steps still. Okay. I do feel like this person coming in in September has, you know, their head is on right. They are solid. They're a really solid person. The two of you want a lot of the same things. You want to be, the way they're saying it to me is you want to be in the same place. Like whether that means emotionally, physically, relationship wise, they, they really want to be in that same place you want to be, but without telling them, like you don't have to say, this is what I want. And they'll go, okay, well, I guess I'll jump in on that too. They, they already want what you want which is what makes this a really good uh, partnership. Does this make sense to you, love? It does. Thank you. You are so welcome. Now, between now and September, if you could just, and for you and for anybody like listening or um, watching, um, really figure out what you want and um, don't settle for less. Okay. Really don't settle for less because, 
um, sometimes we just need to revisit all the things that we want in a in a relationship or in a person. And then when it shows up, that helps us solidify that this is the person that we want to be with. Okay. And don't, don't settle. Like if somebody comes in in August and gives you all those warm fuzzies, my panties just fell off uh, feeling. Um, that's not the person. That's a whole warning. Um, and you don't want, that's not necessarily, sometimes that's, sometimes that's, sometimes that's like, just don't, don't, just don't, don't, that is not like, oh, but that energy, yeah, that, that energy could be your central nervous system saying, run, sis, run, <laughs> okay, but it, it's not that person, it, this person is going to make you feel I just want to say like normal, like this person is going to make you feel like, you know, you guys, you're not, you don't have those weird, not, I don't want to use the word weird, but you don't have those feelings of, um, oh my God, his energy, whenever he walks in, I just feel like I can't even blah, blah, blah. No, that's not it. Okay. That's actually, um, for a lot of people, that's, that's more a warning than it is a um a sign okay love mm -hmm. that makes sense perfect wow thank you so much i really appreciate this absolutely and please do get back to us and let us know what happens in um in in the fall because i'm going to want to i'm going to want to follow up okay love <laughs> thank you so i sure will thank you thank you so much Okay, you guys, I want to, I do want to talk about one thing and then I'm going to try to find um, a question on the chat. And if I miss your question, please don't get upset with me. I'm not following the chat like 100%. Thank you again, everybody for stepping in, for joining me for this hour. I love each and every one of you so stinking much. Until the next show, uh, just love each other. Just please go love each other. Thank you.